Hey guys, this is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching. And today we're going to have an awesome video on the Open Stance Forehand. Before we get into that, I want to thank everybody out there for supporting all my videos. I've just gone over a million views, which is a cool milestone for me. And the most rewarding part about this is learning about what you guys are trying to improve and, and, and the, the great comments when you say, I, I helped you with a certain shot or, or idea. That kind of stuff makes my day. So I got something cool for you before we get into today's video. If you let me know what, what kind of videos you want me to make, any tips, any courses, anything that you're looking for that I am not covering, I want you to put that in the comment section below. And what I'm going to do is uh, January 5th, I'm going to randomly select one of those comments as the winner and you will get a $50 gift card to Midwest Sports. So you will get a $50 gift, sport, gift card to Midwest Sports for just letting me know, hey, how can I help you uh, improve your tennis the most in 2015? All right, so enjoy today's video on the open stance forehand. And also at the end of the video, I do have a free course on three deadly sins I see a lot of uh, rec players I deal with when they start learning the open stance forehand. And I know it's going to help you too. So uh, take care, happy holidays, and we'll see you on future videos. Hey guys, it's Pete from Crunch Time Coaching and today we're going to go over the top three reasons why the pros use the open stance forehand to dominate play. We'll be right back. Hey guys, so if you've noticed, if you watch any tennis at all, you probably know that the pros hit a lot of open stance shots. And we're going to go through the reasons why they do that. Um, before I go into that though, some people wonder, well, should I hit open stance or closed stance? And just my quick opinion on that is you want to have both. You want to be able to hit open stance, but the pros, lots of times, will still step into the ball. It's definitely not uh, old school. Some people might have you believe they step into a lot of the balls, but they do use open stance for a number of reasons. And so let's go through the top three reasons in my mind why they use that open stance. So the number one reason that they use that open stance is the speed of play, right? The ball is coming fast at their feet or out wide. If you step into the ball, lots of times you're gonna end up being late. So what we're gonna have is the ball's gonna be coming at me pretty fast at my feet. I'm gonna try and step into the ball and you're gonna see that's gonna be hard for me, that I'm gonna be late, and then I'm gonna go open stance. So watch this. So here comes the ball, it's coming to my feet. I'm trying to step into the ball, it's coming at my feet, and it's really difficult. I'm actually passing the ball. Now that same ball is gonna come at me, and I'm gonna go open stance with it. So I'm on my feet, and I'm picking off the ground. It's a lot easier for me. The ball could even come faster, feet a little faster, and you see, that this is a much more efficient way at hitting that, okay? So that's one reason, the speed of play when it's coming at you here. Also, now we're gonna have the ball go out there. I'm gonna try and step into the ball as it's fed way out there. All right, so as we can see, this ball's gonna come out here. I'm still going to try and step into the ball, and you're going to see it's going to be tough for me to keep up with this ball. Look at that. Look at that. It's tough. I try to step into that. As you can see, the footwork's a little awkward as I'm getting there and stepping in. Now, watch as I run out there, I'm going to hit open stance. It gets a lot easier to make those shots for me. Okay. So that's number two. Number three, if you haven't noticed, it's the recovery too. So I can get there faster, hit the ball easier, and then maybe even more important than that, 
I'm not losing any steps. I'm hitting that shot and right off of it, already transitioning back to my recovery position. If I'm coming out here and stepping, I've got to step, come around. It just takes that much longer. I won't play as fast, that's too tough. So watch this. I'm gonna do the step and come around, and then I'm gonna do just open stance. So here we go, I get here, I step, I come around, then I gotta move. That is taking extra time. It's not bad, but it's taking extra time. Now I'm gonna come here and at the open stance, you can see that recovery is instant. See that? I'm out here, recovery, is instant as soon as I'm hitting. So there you go guys, those are the top three reasons why you want to hit on the open stance. Your coach is a little out of breath. But I've also got, so I know a lot of you out there, you want to hit the open stance, but you have trouble with it. And to me, there's three deadly sins you may be doing on the open stance forehand. And so I've made a, a free little video course on that for you. All you gotta do is click that and you'll get instant access. If you like the video, give me a like. Comment on it. And always subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos.